What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AV Now check this out. I know you guys read the title you seen the thumbnail and I know we all vested right today I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a shrimp and sausage, you know pasta We're gonna use fettuccine noodles. Hey listen, it really is just a Cajun, you know shrimp and uh, sausage pasta You know super easy uh, when I get ready to show you guys the ingredients I want you to take a look at them. It's gonna look like a lot, but I promise you it's just about doing your prep work, right? So listen when you prep it, it's gonna take you about 10 minutes and then after that, you're gonna go ahead and cook it. I'm gonna just tell you this, in 30 minutes, you from the time you know you got started, you put all your ingredients out, you on the table getting ready to eat. So super easy, I'm not gonna over talk it, we finna get right into it, so let's make it happen. All right, look, we are gonna go over the ingredients. Listen, it might look like a lot, but I promise you it's not. So I'm gonna start off right here on this cutting board. I'm gonna just show you this right here. Look, we got some French bread. This is not part of the recipe, but this is what I'm gonna be serving it with. I got some of this. Lemon herb butter right here. Hey, listen, you guys might not be able to get that particular brand, but you know what, Kerry Gold got some. Uh, they make all kinds of uh, compound good butters. I, I just suggest you guys get some of that. Look, I'm gonna just put, you know, butter on here, put it in the uh, toaster, and uh, we gonna go ahead and get that, you know, nice and ready and serve that with this. Now, this right here, look, this is the shrimp. It's supposed to be one pound. And listen, I had some extra jumbo ones, so I'm gonna go like this. Look, you guys can see that. You know what I mean? Uh, these some big shrimp. I got those and then I got some, some regular size right here. These are like medium. So it's like a mixture, but just one pound. Here we got, uh, what is it? This is crust, you know, tomatoes, red bell pepper. Look, this is a whole, this is like just a regular large bell pepper, you know, red obviously. And then I don't know if you guys can see this, but I diced them kind of small. Then we got a yellow one, you know, uh, it's up to you. You can do equal parts the same. You know what I mean? I like to use like just a little bit less when I do the uh, the yellow, but it's up to you. Then we got a yellow onion. I've already went ahead and diced this also. Uh, this was like a, uh, I'm gonna say, like a large. This, we'll just go with that and just call it a large. All right. I'm just showing you this right here because I keep my pepper in this, right? Here's the thing, I got the pepper that's inside of this is a uh, sweet black, uh, excuse me, it's smoked black peppercorn. I got this from a uh, Sweet Smoky Joe's also. Hey, since I started using that smoked black uh, peppercorn, hey, nothing else. Now, we got oregano. This right here, this is Creole Kit. Look, this is my Creole seasoning. I'm going with the Creole seasoning. You guys can use Creole or you can use uh, Cajun. I'ma just say this, if you don't have Creole Kick, and you can see the quantities on, you know, which one, what is in each one of these, right? But if you're gonna be using something like Tony's or any other brand, listen, they heavy on the salt. So you might wanna adjust it. I just say divide everything into half if you don't have that. All right? Then we got, look, grated uh, Parmesan cheese. Then we got just a little bit of brown sugar. I know some of you guys talk about you don't really do brown sugar or you don't do sugars like in, uh, <clears throat> in green beans and stuff like that. Listen, I just want to clear up the myth. You don't put enough sugar in there where you can taste it. Listen, it's a smooth blend that just evens out the bitterness. You guys got to uh, trust me on that. And then right here, I got two garlic cloves. Now, you can look at this one. This one's kind of big right here. I was trying to feel it like, man, is this two? But this happened to be just one big one. So really, just three regular, but if you got some big ones, you know what I mean? Just go ahead and use two. We're gonna go ahead and just chop those. Here we got heavy uh, whipping cream. This right here, this is just one cup. And then listen, you saying Cajun, Creole and all that, then you gotta have that andouille. This that andouille sausage right here. Just one little link, complete link. That'll do it, and I'ma go ahead and chop this up and get it, you know, chop. Uh, I'ma get it sliced thinly. <clears throat> and I'ma start with, you know, olive oil. Then we got chicken broth, you know? Hey, listen, this is not less sodium. This is, uh, you know, just like the full on, you know, the goodness. You can, got, if you guys are watching your sodium intake, you can go ahead and do the reduced sodium uh, version of that. All right, now I've been waiting to show you this. Look at here. You see this right here? This is all the shells from what's been peeled, you know, from my shrimp. I'm gonna ask you guys, I'm not gonna spoil it right now, but you guys gotta trust me. Go ahead, 
save them. I'm gonna freeze them now till I fill up this bag. Once I got them filled up, in about two weeks, I'm gonna put out a video and I'm gonna show you why we gonna save this. Most of you guys are thinking we gonna make a stock, but I got something else. Hey, that's good to save them too, but just get in the habit of anything that you peel like this, if it's seafood, go ahead and write what it is on there and just freeze it. That's a pro tip, you guys. Hey, you're gonna thank me for this one later. And now for the fettuccine, listen, I got these in the pot already cooking. I'm just gonna get them cooked to the time they're supposed to be, and then I'm gonna stop them, right? So which is like 12 minutes. Then I'm gonna put them in my colander. As soon as I put them in the colander, I'm gonna you know, shock it with that cold water because we're gonna stop it. Because after that, we're gonna put every, all the ingredients in here and we're gonna continue cooking it. You don't want your noodles to be mushy. Now, with all of this being said, hey, let's get it. Okay, first thing first, look. We got our shrimp, right? We're gonna go ahead and just start adding everything to it. So I'm gonna take my oregano. A little salt, give it a nice generous pinch. Right? Black pepper. And now my Creole seasoning. And then you just wanna stir it around. You know, you wanna get everything blended well. And there you have it. Now for the next step, you wanna go ahead and heat up your pan, right? We're gonna start off on a medium high heat, you know? So then go ahead and add some olive oil to it. Then you know what? We just wanna get the olive oil and get it nice and hot. Once that becomes hot, then you wanna go ahead and add your uh, shrimp. Now the thing is, listen, I got like a lot of different size shrimp and it's a lot, right? So you wanna make sure that your shrimp is able to lay flat. So you just wanna cook it for like two to three minutes on each side and then once it's done, then go ahead and put it on a plate. You can see that plate right there doesn't have no napkin on it, right? Or no paper towel, because I don't want the, the paper towel to absorb anything. It's okay if something drips off of them, but we just gonna leave them like that. Then here, I'm just adding, you know, just a little bit more olive oil, and you can see how I cut my andouille sauces up, and then go ahead and just add that to the pan. Same concept when we did the shrimp, y'all. Listen, we wanna make sure that it's, you know, flat. Now, you can see I'm using that wooden spoon, and I like that, that edge on the bottom. See how it's flat, it's straight, makes it real easy to get that goodness off the bottom of them uh, those pans, folks. You guys got to get it, and it protects, you know, that non-stick uh, uh, surface. Now, just go ahead, and then you can see right here, hey, listen, your mouth should be watering, because you can see that that olive oil is taking on a new color, because that's where, you know, our meat is starting to sweat. So, I added the sausage right back to, the, right on that same plate, and there you have it. Now, we're going to set that off to the side, and listen, now it's time to do the veggies. Now listen, we're only gonna cook these veggies just long enough so that they become, you know, like soft. It's up to you, it's the texture that you guys like. For me, under a medium high heat, and then, okay, you just see right there, I'm adding my Creole seasoning, and then I'm coming with the brown, you know, the brown sugar. But I cook mine for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say about five minutes, you know what I mean? I like for it to have a little bit of, you know, like a, a firm texture, you know, when I go ahead and taste it. Now, that's my garlic, that's how I chopped it up. I didn't do no mints because you don't have to. And then when you put your garlic in, you want to make sure you only you don't burn it. So I guess I'm gonna say anywhere from a minute, minute and a half would be good. After that, we come with the crushed, you know, tomatoes. Then we're gonna come with our, you know, our heavy cream, and then we're gonna put our chicken stock in there. And then we just gonna keep working it. Now, don't forget, we still got that medium high heat. So once I get all of these ingredients inside there, listen, we gotta keep it stirring, you know, and then we wanna bring it back you know, get like a semi-boil. So we'll just say we want to get it back to like a simmer. So you can just see I'm just moving it back and forth. You know, we just gonna let it cook. And there you have it right there. You see it's starting to simmer right there. And once it starts to simmer, I cooked it for about two minutes when it was simmering. And then I went ahead and add my Parmesan cheese. Now, I reduced my heat down to like a medium, you know, cause we just gonna take our time and let that Parmesan cheese, you just want to let it melt. And it's a little tricky, you know what I mean? So just take your time, trust the process. And you can see as I'm stirring it right there, you can see it's starting to uh, thicken up. So now is the time to go ahead and get your, you know, your uh, fettuccine noodles and go ahead and just, that's your fettuccine pasta. Then go ahead and just, you know, insert it. Once you get it in there, now you got to figure out how big your pan is. Cause listen, I got a lot of noodles, you know? So listen, we got to get it all, you know, coated. After that, it's real, listen, in this order, it was noodles, and then we come with the sausage. And once we get the, the sausage, you know, to cook inside of that and completely coat it, and then we put the shrimp. Cause listen, the shrimp is perfect right now. So really, we just wanna add the shrimp the last, I'ma say like the last two to three minutes. 
right so there's our shrimp right there now we just put that on there you know put that inside of there and then we just mix it all up and then we get ready to serve now i can tell you this you can put this in the center of your table you know what i mean and everybody can like pull from that that's a great presentation but you guys let me know down in the comment section below what do you think about serving these in the dish and there you have it a creamy cajun pasta so tell me what you guys think about this one here another super easy you know recipe huh you know, anytime you see the word Cajun, you know, most people jump right on it. Hey, so let me just put it together for you for perspective. You got Cajun, then when you say sausage, you start thinking about that andouille or even a smoked sausage, and you add shrimp, you can't go wrong. And listen, if you're doing your weekly uh, planning of your meals or your bi-weekly, however you guys are doing it for your meal prep, this is just something you gotta put in the rotation just to break it up. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, folks, you know how I'm finna get out of here. Peace.